Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to take a look at this retro text effect in Illustrator. First step, let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it out with this weird font. From here, right click, create outline. And I'm going to unite it, go to Pathfinder, click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. Great. I'm going to press and hold Alt, drag it up to create a copy. Also press Shift to isolate. Now select the bottom text. We're going to go to Effects, Distort and Transform, Transform. We're going to create one copy and we're going to change the horizontal. I'm going to go with five by five. Click OK. From here, go to Object, Expand Appearance, go to Object again, blend and make. We're gonna double click here on the blend options and select these specified steps. And I'm gonna type in somewhere around 50, click OK. Go to object, expand, click OK, and go to Pathfinder, click on Unite. And now we got the three-dimensional part of the text. Now I'm gonna go here to the appearance and we have the fill. I'm going to collapse the stroke and the fill and we're gonna go to the fill and click here, add a new fill. Click, I'm gonna add four and I'm gonna change the first one. I'm gonna go, for example, with uh, an orange like that. Now I'm gonna go to the second fill. I'm gonna change it to some darker orange like that. And I'm gonna go to the effects, go to this store and transform, transform. And I'm gonna increase horizontal and vertical with five. Click OK. I'm gonna go to the third color, change it. I might go with a purple, add distortion, distort and transform, transform. We're gonna, instead of five, we're gonna do 10. Look at that. Click OK. I'm gonna go to the fourth color and I might choose a blue. Same process, effects, distort, transform, transform. And instead of 10, we're gonna do 15, not 25, 15. There you go. Click OK. Now I'm gonna drag the top font, press and hold Shift to isolate, right on top of the extrusion. And this is how easy it is. You also can add some stroke on the font. I'm gonna increase the stroke and put it to the inside. And I'm gonna click on the stroke, and go to the swatches, change it like that. And this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.